Well, hello there again, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Grab your cup of coffee and a seat because, as always, I'm Paulie and this is Paulie's Power Hour. doing today well Malibi is behind me and she's up on jack stands we are finally fixing the parking brake um, I have had my other parking brake cable it must be over here somewhere oh it's right here so I picked these up they're uh, factory GM parts not for the Malibu though so there's that um, I also bought this. This is a factory GM piece here. Uh, and then underneath the car, uh, I wanted to use the factory um, cable that goes from the pedal down to the car. Um, yeah. So we're kind of making stuff work, if that makes any sense. So here's what we're doing. So this rear... Uh, the Curry Enterprises rear has provisions for a regular cable type parking brake or e-brake, whatever the hell you want to call it. All right. And, and that little lever is right here. And then the cable goes through this. And yeah. And then it runs over. And what we're going to do, I already ran the driver's side one a while ago because yeah, the car blew up, so I didn't get a chance to finish it. So I already trimmed the spring, drilled out that hole. It clips into place and it stays. So that's good. That's what we want. It comes around the suspension, gets hung in the stock hanger, down through to, oh, as I roll around here. Oh, here we go. All right, to so this bracket that I made. And this is going to be painted eventually. Well, once we're done here, right? And then this is the factory cable. Uh, I did this just to see if this works. I spent some money on this, but if this doesn't work, I'm not going to buy the other piece. So there's another piece you can get that I trim this off and I slide it over and it bolts into place or like there's screws that hold it together and it turns this into this, All right? So there's an uh, 8 clamp up here, All right? That's what this bolt is. So in theory, the other cable is going to come around. And there's going to be another clamp here. So the two cables are going to be right here. Boom. They're going to meet up with this. Which is going to meet up with that balance bar that we saw. This is actually going to be under this. I think I had it away. A, a specific. There we go. Like that. There we go. It's going to be like that. And there's going to be a clamp right here. That's going to hold it. So, yeah. All right. Let's go back to the workbench. All right. So here's the basic theory on how this is going to work. Okay. So the threaded part of the balance bar, or the threaded part of the cable for the car is going to go on here. And this is going to be the adjustment. I can move this forward and backwards. Actually, it's going to be like this. This, so I got these cable clamps so I can trim the parking brake cables. And actually, this is going to be like this so it doesn't fall, even though it's not going to fall out, but still. So the two cables are going to be like this. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. I'll be able to adjust it this way to tighten it or this way to loosen it. However, I would need to adjust it. And then... Both cables, this one goes to driver's side, this one goes to passenger side. And when I hit the parking brake pedal inside, it pulls. It pulls the cables and it pulls the parking brake. And then when I release it, both all three springs, because there's a spring on each, uh, each wheel and then there's a spring on the main cable itself. And when I release it, it click, clicks into place and the car moves again. So. I'm going to go ahead and get set up, get some stuff going under the car, and then uh, we'll start trimming and cutting and making things happen. All right, so here's where we're at. Some time has passed. I had dinner. Got some work done. Um, all right, let's just go to the car. 
So as you can see, so I got the two cables run. I'll show you what I did with the passenger side one. This is just preliminary. It's, it's not clamped in there, but you can see the concept. There's going to be another dado clamp right here. It's going to hold that. These are going to be equal lengths. And then I made an insulated clamp here to hold the factory the factory uh, cable and I can't even think hold the factory cable up and once it's all tight and everything it should be like right here which means it's not going to interfere with the frame because there is going to be like you know, light tension on this as uh, you know in a static so it's going to be kind of like this in a very in a static uh, configuration right so, here's what I did for the passenger side cable. You'll like this, this is cool. All right, so, two clamps together. Uh, um, there, this isn't tight yet, because this is still just a test fit. I gotta get like all these little thingies off when I cut the sheathing. That's what the uh, duct tape's for. But, let's go into the car. All right, so, it comes around, making sure that it doesn't touch the muffler it's all the way up against the frame here now you'll notice i did put jack stands on the rear axle to put the rear axle at right height to make sure that none of my um that my cable is not going to interfere with the travel of the rear axle while it's moving so this is ride height uh so you look up here i made another uh clamp put right here off the bump stop so this is nice and high and away from everything. It comes around away from this muffler. All right, my hooker black heart muffler. It comes around out of the way of the suspension as it travels through that little cross member. Right. And then you'll see the cable comes around out of the way of the suspension. Clips into here, which I made the hole bigger. I trimmed a couple of links off the spring and it's nice and tight with the um, the lever for the uh, for the parking brake assembly. So once I trim that up, then I should be able to measure for the cable. You want to make the cable equal length, so I'm gonna trim the sheathing off. And expose the cable, put heat shrink on it to uh, isolate it and to close it off, and then uh, cut the cable itself. So now the camera's charged, so let's get to work. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna measure. So this cable ends right at the end of this. So what needs to happen is. All right, so I made a yellow mark. Now, the thing about this is you don't want to cut through this cable. You only want to cut through the sheathing. So you have to be very careful about that. But we should be able to, and I did it on this side, so we should be able to do it for this side as well. And yeah, I think this might actually work. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's start cutting. Safety glasses are a must and gloves. All right, so you'll see that the cable itself I, I got the sheathing a little bit, but that ain't that bad. But it still moves in here. And that's what matters. So this is a little rough, so I am going to use some heat shrink to kind of close it off. If I grab the right size heat shrink next time.
bada bing. Heat shrunk, nice and clean. All right, now, where is that data? So, what's gonna happen is, this is gonna go right chaw. And that is gonna go right chaw. Like so. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. These are on. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my little adjuster screw here to make this a little tighter. Make sure these are tight. All right, we've got some preload here. We don't want it to be too tight, so let me spin the wheel. All right, wheel still spins, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pedal. And then I'll have everybody here watch. Let's see if this works. That's the worst that can happen. Well, push the pedal down quite a bit. Those are tight like guitar strings. Let's see. Can you see the rear wheel? Yes, you can. Ooh. Hey. That's not... That's not going anywhere. Let me check the other side. No, nope, that's not going anywhere either. All right, let's release it. Okay. Spins. That's my adjustment. Not too bad, I guess. Let's try it again. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I got a parking brake. I can't believe that worked. Huh. I guess there's just one thing left to do. Let's put the wheel on the other side, let it down, back her up into the driveway, and uh, lay her on the incline and see if it holds. I'm still, of course, going to, for the first night, I'm going to go ahead and, and pop her in gear and probably put the wheel chuck like, I don't know, like an inch from the wheel. That way, should the parking brake fail or one of the cables let go or something like that, it's not going to roll out into the street. I'll be able to, you know, it'll hit the wheel chuck and then I'll assess that in the morning. So, you see me jack this thing up and let it down like a hundred times. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and pop the wheel on. Let her down, and then we're going to see what we got in the driveway. Oh, oh, oh I got a parking brake. This is exciting. This is very exciting. All right, so cars are all switched back around. And look. There she is. So let's go around all four wheels. No wheel block. No wheel block. No wheel block here. And no wheel block here. Okay. The heat stick is forward. In neutral. Foot is off the brake. And the car is not moving. Now, since I am on a hill, I'll put my foot on the brake. Let brake release. And she wants to move backwards. Now, one thing I do got to figure out is this sometimes will hang up. So I might have to WD-40 up there, right there. See, I, okay, I see now. Just like that. All right. So I take the parking brake pedal, push it down, release the service brake, and there we go. <clears throat> car cool so there you have it so simple measuring a uh, little of this little of that um i guess i just kind of you know got lucky and arnold palmer said it best i'd rather be lucky than good um so i hope you learned something so if you don't have a parking brake on your project car maybe this gives you an idea on how to do it oh man so but it's late I'm going to go in and shower, go to bed. So, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Hope you learned something. 
If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Make sure they subscribe. Hope they have fun doing this stuff too, because uh, that's what we're here to do. Have fun and learn. So, with that being said, you guys keep it between the ditches. Come back and see me.